Well, you know, Lisa, as I was watching this program, I thought it's really quite remarkable considering Jeez. how much time this team had to train beforehand. They Don't very, train that often. Yeah, this no. is a team that probably trains on the lower end of what we'll see tonight. And so with that, you have to adjust your expectations. You're not going to see the skill level that we would with a team that's training maybe 20 hours a week. And a pretty good performance. Of course, slower skating. The skating skills aren't there like other teams would be, uh, you know, at this point anyways. But pretty clean program Yes, overall. they stayed on their feet, which is always a victorious feeling, certainly when you get off the ice. Looking at one of their for, or early elements here, the group lift. You're looking for the timing. Are they all going up the same time? Are they coming down at the same time? Are they rotating at the same time? That helps to get them positive GOE points. And just to get the three skaters turning, who's lifting the woman at the same time, not easy. No, it takes a lot of practice. A lot of times teams will practice with a broomstick or a hockey stick or something above their head just to get the timing of their feet right before putting a person above their head. The intersection here. The intersection, we saw this yesterday. We'll see it again in all of the programs today. We'll see two intersections in this program, the angled and the whip, which we're looking at now. The whip, you're looking to see that both sides of the whip have that half circle shape. And then they're rotating as they go through two consecutive turns. That's what they are expected to and do And the here. whip, of course, the final skater on the line picks up speed more than the others. Yes, so you'll see that defined kind of V shape at the end of the intersection, demonstrating that speed from the end skater. And there's their final pose of the program. I think pretty happy coming off the ice, you know, world championship. They don't get a lot of practice time, that's clear. And uh, they've got a lot of work to do and skating skills to improve, but it's a great start. Super to have Turkey here Fantastic. at the world championships. Yeah. You know, great work on coaches part and the association to field a team. Yes, at definitely. The world Not easy to be here. I mean, we, we saw there's nine elements. It's a lot of training the to scores, do. Please. Well, let's take a look at the scores for Team Vision, Team Vision from Turkey. Has earned in the free skate 64.20 for the first team out in this event. With a total score of Competition score of 95.09. Well, the next team on the ice comes from the Netherlands. Team next Ice United, skate. very age range of athletes between 16 and 27. From You'll pick up on the colors of their dresses. They're team skating to ice African beat. United. Their coach was inspired to make a program because of her love for the music and dances of Africa and for the love of the country itself. Interesting note, each team member contribute to the making of these dresses. They all made those little orange, red, yellow pieces of fabric for their skirts.
For that team. Yeah, that was really good. I mean, other than the mistake in the intersection, yeah. really solid uh, performance. Yeah, they started off rough, of course. Everyone could see that. But what I loved about the team is when the music changed, their energy changed. And from that point on, they were dedicated to the program and they skated it really well. Some really good technical calls. And I noticed on the lifts, you know, they change a fold during the lift. Like it went up one way, then they had to change the hand position, push it all the way up. Yes. That is so difficult. It is, and that's a difficult feature that you'll see. So teams can either go straight up into a lift or for extra points, they can do a difficult entry, a difficult exit, all sorts of different features that they can add in. Here we're looking at the first element, their artistic circle. We'll see they did axles here, a risky move, yeah. but worth the reward if you can do them as well as that team just did. That was a really strong skate. It, yes. Earlier, right before the angle, we saw a skater fall, but she got back in so quickly that it didn't affect the setup of the intersection. Of course, we saw the collision there, which had a big effect on the grade of execution mark because as soon as you see a fall, it has to be reflected in the mark. That's that move you were talking about, yeah. the difficult entry into their rotating lifts. And they did that in a mirrored pattern, which is another difficult feature. Gosh, that's not easy. No. So here we're seeing both a flexible position in the lift and a balancing position. This is where I thought the music changed, their energy changed, and they brought it home really nicely. They did a great job through their step sequence in the no hold. I thought they had really nice deep edges. Of course, the judges, the tech panel, they're looking for deep edges. Here you're looking at the whip. In an ideal world for top GOE, you want to see everyone going through at the same time. That's Very hard difficult. for timing. That's Very really difficult. Hard. Looking at the death spiral, another difficult feature, the fact that the skaters are holding their blades. Great synchronizing through that move. Strong final pose here. Really enjoyed that program. On this team, there's actually three pairs of sisters and a pair of twins. See if you can spot them. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> they all look like Especially twins, with right? Mask, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, they have to be really thrilled with that performance. Really strong, good shapes. Uh, you know, pretty good ice coverage as well. And the first time that this team is out on World's Ice since 2016. So. Again, it's just such a great opportunity for this team to be here, and they'll be able to build off of the this scores, for sure. Please. Short or free the program Ice scores United for Ice United has earned in the free skate 83.41. 83 Second team out. That's first so With far. A total score of 118. Competition score of 118.36. They're happy with Ice that. United yeah. is currently so they should. in first place. Well, the next team on the ice it comes from Belgium, Team the next Phoenix. Team on the ice. And they have an age range of athletes from 15 to 30. Interesting story Please behind the program. They're Belgium. calling it Ocean's 18. Team so they're inspired Phoenix. by the movie Ocean's 8. But for us, they're doing Ocean's 18 because there's 18 skaters on the ice. 
There you go. He'll be telling a story of how they robbed a diamond. The as team, the plan, the party, and time for action. As they get ready to take out the trash by Santa Maria, Joe Mama, the music. Hey, do you want to know how to rob a diamond? Well, they had some difficult elements like the lifts and definitely again we'll see so much variety in the in these programs because there's room for creativity so we will see the lifts which are challenging and and we'll see elements that people at home might be looking at thinking well what is that element and a lot of times those are the creative elements yeah. where teams will put their own spin on it and make it look different between teams 
You can see the team's happy. Yeah, they're pretty happy with that performance. I was thinking about the conditioning there, especially when you're lifting a little bit later in the program and you have change position, change hand holds, and, you know, ice is choppy, and I'm yeah. like, whoa, this is really risky. You yes, and, and with lifts, you can't really get speed once you're in the lift, so you have to go in with speed and maintain it. That's the hard part. Well, I saw one of the teams sculling a little bit, like, which is, like, using both feet to try to keep yeah, the momentum which going. Is, it can be dangerous. Yes, yeah, very much. I like it. Top of lift up in here. There's sort of like yeah. a little bit of talking about the choreography. Yeah. I think in the little music there. Little choreography there on top of that lift was really nice. Yeah, here we're looking at their no hold element with the steps. There you see the change of configuration. So they were in a four by four block. Here we're seeing three lines. Again, the clearer that that lineup is, the better marks they will receive we from the, the panel. So looking at the whip intersection here, roll. the top score that a uh, a uh, team can get is an intersection three, point of inter intersection three. And I say that because on the top left-hand side, they do put the marks up as they're called. And so if a team gets their top points, you would see that score. A little bump, collision, I should say, on the intersection, causing that skater Seems to, to be a lot in the middle of the lines yes. where the collisions are reasonable. Well, think about if you're in the middle of uh, a convoy. <laughs> if a car in the middle speeds up or slows down, it affects more than if you're on the other end, right? Yeah. Less room for adjustment. This is your group lift. So they saw you saw a change of position there. And you're seeing them rotate in a mirror image pattern. So they got credit there. Or they were going for credit for the difficult entry and the difficult exit. You saw the skaters at the end of this flip out. The skaters, the skaters on top have to be absolutely firm and solid. They can't be moving around. Makes it too difficult for the lifters. Here we're looking at their death spiral, of course. We saw the skaters fall. Some unison issues as well. Those skaters have to go in and come out on one foot in order to get credit for those death spirals. Lots of pressure needs to be held in, yes. bet in between those three lines to hold to the skater, skater off the off ice. The ice. Yeah. Yes, that's their artistic wheel, the final element, and final position here. It's a lot of work, a lot of physicality in that program. Yes, and that's what we see more and more of in synchronized skating, that you can't just be a good skater, you have the to be flexible, and strong, please. all the things. Team Phoenix has earned in the free skate 75.56. 75.56 for Team from Belgium, second in the free program. Team Phoenix is and that's a 113.38 for the competition. That'll put them currently in second place overall. Well, our next team on the ice comes all the way from down under Australia. Team, team Unity the had some challenges in the short program. Lots of personality with this team. Australia. Age range 15 to 28 Unity. years old. The program you're about to see is Mary, Queen of Scots. They're really excited to perform this tonight because they, they prepared this for the World Championship in 2020, didn't have a chance to perform it, so they're excited to show it to you this afternoon. You need 80.32 to take the lead.
This was a much wow. better performance. Yes, that is what they came here to do. Look at the joy in the coaches' faces. Absolutely. They had a real challenge in the short program. They were a little bit disappointed. Charming team, great personalities. Five men on this team, and this is the only team that has that team. many yes. in this competition. Yeah, and we, I, I just have to take a moment again to just appreciate this team. That was such a beautiful skate for them. So nice that they're able to go home knowing that they nailed it when it mattered. <laughs> they go in for one final hug. As you mentioned, yes, five men on this team. Um, and speaking to them yesterday, uh, all these men were on different teams in Australia. And he finally yeah. came together and impacted this team in a way that none of the other teams have, you know, that mix at this point. So, uh, but they're a real family. And they talked about how close they are with all of the skaters on this team. and. It's so nice to see their face, their smiles coming off the ice because it was a challenging day today, but one of celebration. Absolutely. Challenging yesterday, pardon me, celebration today. Here we're looking at the first element there, death spiral. So you need to see that their heads are at or below knee level. A lot of teams will struggle with getting low enough and that will affect the call. Group lift here, beautifully done. Again, you saw them doing the sculling or the pumping to get yep. more speed. Every team kind of has their own strategy on whether they want their skaters to push through that element or avoid doing so. You can see them working below. Yeah. Uh, the woman just a trying bouncing to bouncing yeah, a little bit. Just trying to keep their momentum going. Yeah, There's the intersection. intersection here. There was a bump on the left side of your screen, which hard to tell, but they stayed on their feet. Whip intersection. We're looking at that next. Really nice timing, I thought. They almost all went through at the same time. It's very, as you said before, very difficult to nail that timing. Of course, they're gonna be looking at the point of intersection, which is these two rotations as they go through. The teams are allowed to do one turn before the approach, but not more than one. There's a final lift coming into the final pose. We'll flip over there. Beautiful. And you're going to see the motion pour out. You saw the alternates on the side of the ice, and they just yeah. erupted with the joy. Scores, yeah. please. Really good skate. Solid from Team Australia. Team, Team Unity. Unity has earned in the free skate 87.59. That's first. <laughs> with a total score. And they're thrilled. Total competition score. Team Unity is currently in first place. 125.64. And that puts Team Unity first four teams. They're in first. And that's the end of group one. We will resume the competition after yeah, that was a great skate to finish this first group. Yes. And now these teams that have skated, they'll join us in the audience and they'll get inspired by the teams to come. And they'll cheer them on. Absolutely. There's that's a look at the standings after the first four teams. The camaraderie that synchronized skating is known for. Yeah, 23 in this event, and it only gets better every group as we move along this day of competition. We expect some remarkable performance, not only from a technical perspective, but very creative in the rest of the day. So it's, it's you know, s stay with us because you're going to see some very special performances. Very unique programs as well, unique concepts. We are trying to tell some of the stories before they step on the ice, before they start the program, to give you some context of what they're trying to portray through their theme, and hopefully that reads as they perform. You'll see a lot of emotion today, some tears of joy and tears of sadness as well, but overall, everybody's thrilled to be here in Hamilton. So we're going to take a short break. You're in the ice resurfacing. You're watching the 2022 ISU World Synchronized Skating Championships. We'll be back. Stay with us. Thank you. 
to the century growing together and knowing the next one can be even better. 
Welcome back, everyone, to the World Synchronized Skating Championship. Uh, our next team on the ice, Lisa, uh, Croatia, have an interesting first element. So yes, the first element that we're going to see with this team is their artistic wheel. So this is a unique element within the free program. Each team will either do an artistic wheel, artistic circle, but what makes it special is that not only are they doing a wheel, the element itself, but they can do two features. So you'll see kind of uh, unique movements within the element, which makes it special for each team. So they could do a, a jump, a lift, a spin, something special. There's so much going on. It's one of the great things about, there's a look at the start order, of course, for group two, but one of the great things about this sport is that there's so much going on on the ice. No matter where you look, you're seeing something unique and different. Sometimes they're all doing the same thing and sometimes they're completely doing different things. So you yeah. really have, you stay alert, yeah. that's for sure. <laughs> and sometimes it can be nice to just sit back and take it all in and not assess. Yes. But sometimes you want to understand what you're looking at so that you understand the scores in the end. So it's kind of a fun well, balance. Sometimes there. I find, okay, I'm getting confused here. Just back off and enjoy, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, because you see so many great skaters and a beautiful piece of music and some wonderful choreography. It's always a great joy to watch. Look at some of the Japanese fans and lots of Canadian fans here as well. Of course, two teams coming up later from Canada. Next team to skate. And here we go yeah, on the ice. Zagreb the Snowflakes team. from Croatia. Please welcome. Ages 16 to 30. From Croatia. Very young Zagreb team, 16 Snowflakes. of these skaters could even qualify to skate at the junior level. Very young team here. This team uh, will skate to, as many teams do, to a, a movie theme, uh, or the music from a movie theme. It's always a popular choice as they will skate the free program to the bodyguard.
Really interesting, Lisa. I have to mention, uh, I don't know whether people saw that or not, this young woman Jeez. fell and was so having a hard time getting up, but stood up and then lifted. And lifted. Yeah. And lifted immediately. That is incredible concentration and skill. And athleticism, what our really, sport is known for. Really well done. See the skaters sharing their hug. This will be the final hug of the season yeah. for all of these teams. Had you know, me. interesting enough, when you have a choice of music, I mean, this did not have a big theme or, or you know, right. eternal meaning, meaning perhaps, or, or, or in the name of someone. It was uh, a movie theme, right? And just music, Fun phrasing music. of phrasing of music, and phrasing of choreo. Yep, always a choice. Everyone's different in their approach. Here we're looking at that group lift. They're hitting the split position, which is your flexible position. Rotating, which is another difficult feature, and the mirror image pattern on the ice. And then you see that they did a difficult exit, which they got credit for, the flip out there. Another look at the whip intersection. Here we're going to see their setup for the death spiral. So it used to be you just went into your death spiral and tried to sync them up. Now we're seeing teams do difficult entrances into them, difficult exits into difficult positions. So they're holding their blades, which is more difficult than if you just did a death spiral with your leg free. And watch That's right here, you can see this young woman fell down, got up, and then lifted the partner. I mean, Amazing. <laughs> incredible. The focus. Yes. Their angled intersection. We were looking at the report cards from yesterday. Only one team got full credit for their angled intersection. Just a little note on how difficult that element is to get called. It's one thing to get through without falling, another thing to get full points. So their first international competition in two years. And you can tell they're just so happy to be out on this ice tonight. Yeah, and overall, you know, other than that one little mistake, they had a pretty good skate. They did. The scores, please. They're not simply. Team Zagreb Snowflakes. As three program scores for Team skate, Zagreb Snowflakes, 74.45. That's fourth in the free program. With a total competition score of 112.62. That'll put them into fourth place overall as well. There's a look at your leaderboard, your top five teams so far in the competition. The next team to Our next team on the ice from Great Britain, Team Icicles. Their age range 17 to 28. From Great Britain, the music that they're going to be skating to, it's fun, it's upbeat. Thank you. Fans at home will recognize a number of the songs in this medley. Ted, what are they yeah, It's to? really interesting, you know, the approach that each team would take, whether the stories or not, are just sort of reminiscing. And you'll catch that in this program as they skate to Car Wash and The Freak, Disco Inferno and YMCA.
Fun music in that program brings back memories of that era for me, but not the fashion Gee, that was of that something. era for fashion for sure. But you know, great fun program. Very much so, and the crowd loved it. They were clapping around uh, along when they were doing the YMCA. People in the stands were doing the YMCA. Yeah. It's so much fun as a skater to get that sort of energy from the audience. Yeah, I think in that case, a good choice of music it was really for fun for the skaters, obviously, and also for the audience. Not a deep story, but just sort of looking back in time, the range of music that we have through the different eras is just remarkable. They did a great job in the 70s and 80s. Here we're looking at the group lift element. They went with a safer element, uh, an easier element, so that they could get points on the quality, which they did receive. You'll see when teams are skating, there's a mark up on the top left-hand side. A green box is for positive GUE. That means they're getting bonus points for the elements they do. A red box would mean that they're getting points taken away for negative quality in the element. Yeah, it's interesting to look up at that scoreboard you know, during the performance. You can see how well they're doing it. They've also got the leader's score, I believe, and yes. the current skater as well, so you can watch the tracking. Lots of energy in this program. I liked the choice of music with the elements. That's one of the first steps you'll do as a choreographer. You'll sit, you'll listen to the music, and you'll imagine, what can I envision being on this part of the music? I thought they did a nice job of placing their elements with the different pieces of music that they had. Yeah. Love this move. And, and choosing the music that fits your skill level at that time, really important. I mean, some things that are very deep and really required a lot of acting as well. I mean, you know, so this was a great piece of music for where this team is at in their yes. development. Their coaches were saying they only practice an hour and a half on the ice per week. So wow. again, incredible result that we saw on the ice from. Great job for that. That is not a lot of time. No. So amazing. Very talented group of skaters to be able to pull that off with Absolutely. such a short amount of prep time. But I think the choice of music was perfect for them. You know, it made them the happy scores, and fun, please. and we saw that in their performance. Let's take a look at the scores. For Team Icicles from Great Britain. Team Icicles Senior has earned. There it is, 78.41. That's third in the free program so far. They seem pretty happy with that score. And their total competition score will take them to 117.58. And that will put them into third place overall as well. Team Icicles Senior is in place. Team Unity from Australia is hanging on to first place. They had a great job, a good skate here in the free program as we the next welcome team the next team onto the ice. The ice Fire, the senior team. from Poland, Please welcome 17th after the short Poland, program. Team ice Fire First time senior. that this team is out on the world stage. Lovely to see them here. They'll be skating to their own version of Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, this is interesting. They're skating to the mass extended. So you won't hear the Romeo and Juliet theme. See if you can see it in the choreography. Thank you. 
For this team, I mean, they're so new. And to have a skate like that, they should be so, so thrilled. You can see on their faces, they absolutely are. And so are the coaches and the alternates. Just you know, viewers back home team don't know the history of any one of these teams. Right. Like some are very experienced, been together for a long time, and this is a pretty new team. And Brand new to the senior division. A lot of these skaters moved up from their junior team, but any time that a team moves to the senior level, there's so many new elements to learn. And let alone the intimidation, if you will, yeah. of a world championship, you know, and seeing the teams that you admired, you're competing against them now. Yes. And I think they've done such a great job of not only learning how to do the more challenging elements you'll see in senior, like the death spirals and the lifts, but mastering them and doing them with confidence. Yeah, interesting, it wasn't really an intersection at the end, but the flip jump coming through, which was, I haven't seen that, but we've seen Axel, but we haven't seen like really a lot of other jumps. Yes, they definitely took some risks in this program. 
that you won't see a lot of other teams taking. This was their opening double toe. The one skater singled it, but better to single it than to fall because yeah. it's not, they're not counting that double jump. It's just kind of an exciting addition. So important that you're gliding at the same speed that you keep in line. Yeah, great synchronization throughout their program. Wonderful spacing here through their angled intersection. No, that was really Such nice. a challenging element to do so well on, especially so early in their career as a senior team. Group lift here, There's that was a, a difficult entry. Change of position, so difficult as you're moving down the ice. There's those turns, you can see all three skaters working together to keep the momentum going. Arm goes up and foot goes out. Really nice approach into their intersection here. This is their whip. You see those two half circles unraveling at the right time, intersecting perfect, perfect timing on that. On our screen, it showed that they got top points for that intersection, so well done. Here's your death spiral. I know this team worked really hard on these death spirals. They make them look easy, but I assure you, viewers at home that don't know how to do death spirals, they're far from easy. A lot of Here's pressure their on the axle. Arm. So to do an axle yep. in the middle of a no hold, you won't see that here tonight. Just this team. Wow. Goes to show they have some very strong single skaters on this team. There it is, right at the end. Beautifully yeah, done. Certainly a different approach. The theme being Romeo and Juliet, the music not being so. Right. But it might be a story in internally. Yep. We don't know. And a lot of times. The scores, please. We'll get to that later. The scores please. for team. Ice Fire from senior Poland. Has earned in their Pre-program free score, season's best, 99.18. So they're thrilled with that. And that puts them in first in the free program with a total competition score of 139.49. And that means they'll take over the lead. The next team to skate. Well, on the ice that right now, team? team Fusion Daisy from Daisy Spain. Daisy their age range from of the Spain. skaters between 17 team and 27 Sociale. years old. This is the only senior team in the whole country of Spain. The program you're about to see is themed flamenco, and they've been taking dance lessons with a flamenco instructor, so I'm sure we'll see lots of beautiful movements here tonight. S 16th after the short program, as they'll skate the three right now to El Ferramenco.
really nice choreography. It's beautiful shapes and just really powerful. Yeah, I think, you know, the buzz around the ring has really been about how much these teams have improved, these countries have improved. I think Spain is a great example of that. The last time we saw them was at the World Championship in 2019, and they have grown so much as a team since then. Just a lot of, I mean, flair is a kind of an average type of word, but, you know, in this particular dance, flamenco, they really, as a group, really made some beautiful images, you know, with synchronization. It was just, you know, really beautifully done. enjoyable to watch. I think one of the reasons we've seen these teams improve so much is because for the last two seasons, they've been able to commit themselves to training, not necessarily preparing for competitions, which can sometimes take away from training. We saw them attempting. <laughs> we saw them attempting the more difficult elements, which a lot of times the lower level or the lower ranked countries won't attempt. But they went for them and they got credit for them, which is awesome to see. The depth in synchronized skating around the world is growing. Better. Yes, definitely. That was the change of position in their group lift, so they were in that open split position to a forward split. I love the speed going into this lift. your space there, right into the program from start to finish. Kiss and cry, always the a scores, place to enjoy the team, team environment, and the family, and the, in the performance. Let's take a look at the scores for the free program for Team Fusion 85.96, the third the in the free program. Total competition score of 126.85, and that'll put Team Fusion currently into second place overall. Team Fusion is actually not in place. We will resume the competition after the ice is resurfaced. We will resume the competition after the ice is resurfaced. Well, there's a look at the standings so far after two groups. Team from Poland in first, 139.49. Spain in second, 126.85. And Team Unity from Australia, 125.64, is in third at the moment. So great performances coming up in just a little while. We're going to take a short break while you watch the Great fans that we have here in Canada. The pressure is mounting. The excitement is building as we come down to the wire. We'll step aside for a short break during the ice cream and stay with us. We will be back.
All right, everyone. It's time to get up and get loud for today's T-shirt toss. Who here is ready for an event T-shirt? Come on, come on, you guys can do better than that. I want to see you get up and get loud now. Let's hear you scream.
Welcome back, everyone, to Hamilton, Ontario. Day two of competition here at the ISU 2022 World Synchronized Skating Championships. I'm Ted Barton, along with Lisa Carrier. Lisa, we've got some pretty exciting skating coming up in the next few hours. It's been exciting so far, and just we know that it's going to keep on getting better and better. Each flight we see, each group of skaters just keeps on improving. And the fans get wilder <laughs> as well. Our next team's going to come up, and they're on the ice for warm-up. You can see the skate order of group number three. Team Japan will be on the ice. Tell us a little bit about that first element for them. So the first element you'll see for Jingu Ice Messengers is their group lift. This is something that we'll only see in the free program. We don't see it in this short program, uh, but all skaters have to be involved in a lift. You'll see four lifts moving across the ice. And in order to get the top marks, the judges are looking to see, or the tech panel is looking to see four difficult features. So that would include a difficult entry, a difficult position, uh, and then the image that they're creating on the ice. So like the mirror pattern, that sort of thing, and a difficult exit. Yeah, we don't have time to qualify what difficult means, but you know, exactly. you'll, you'll see it, perhaps. Anyways, so here we go with some the next thing to skate. wonderful yeah, teams coming up, all battling for position and personal Please best. And our first Japan. team from Japan, Team, team Jingu Ice, Ice Messengers. Messengers. Skaters are age 17 to 28. You see in this program, they're depicting a movie theme. You see it in the costumes, you'll see it throughout the program tonight. James Horner, 
the movie Avatar. What a great skate. Beautiful skate. Oh, the Japanese skaters always have great Jeez, skating Jeez, skills. They do. Always beautiful poise on the ice. The way that they hold their positioning, their posture, their presence on the ice. And always the, beautiful. And the unison throughout. You know, really tight spaces. Yep. They're a very uh, succinct team. All of their movements are sharp. Fans always love Jingu Ice Messengers. Always lots of support in the building for this team. I thought there were some really special moments in this program. Some really high technical calls, of course. Some costly mistakes here and there from a technical standpoint, but beautiful performance. 
saying hi to all of their friends, one of their teammates who's at home, couldn't get the visa on time to be here, that we see that in a number of teams. Those that are here are thrilled to be here. Really nice speed through the lift. We kind of pointed out between the two of us here how difficult the entry was. They just flipped right in, tossed them up. Yeah, backflip back. Flip strong, yes. Yeah. Strong individuals on this team. And, you know, yesterday's skate was challenging. They had some big errors yesterday, but this was redemption. It certainly was. I loved how as the music changed, the energy of this team changed as well, and the way that they performed either went up or came down to suit the music, something that the judges are looking to see. Look at their last lifted in the program. Again, little struggle in the lift, yeah. but she muscled her up and made sure to get that position. Beautiful death spirals, top marks for this. Nice grade of execution mark on the quality. Last little spin back into the so program. And as they take their last pose right here. Powerful. Very. Nicely done. The team that, what, they weren't able to tra train during the Olympics because they trained so close to the Olympic Village that they weren't able to access their ice surface when the Olympics were going on. And despite that training to their interruption, they still came back and did a really, really nice job in preparing for this World Championship. Wow. Yeah, I, I was doing some filming in their warm-up off ice a couple days ago. They have quite the personalities. <laughs> the <laughs> Japanese are quite reserved. Not yes. this group. <laughs> there are lots of personality and having really a lot of fun together. I have to be pretty excited with that performance. Much stronger. Flight home will be a lot nicer. Now, let's take a look at the free program scores for Team Jungu. Team Ice Jingu Messengers Ice from messengers Japan. Has 106.53. He's very thrilled with that. That puts him in first place in the free program. Wow. To total competition score of 148.65. And that puts this team currently into first place. A nice strong lead. A strong history in this team as well. They've yeah. been around quite a long time. Well, the next team on the ice, Starlight from Elite from Switzerland. Age range of the skaters, the oldest skaters, 10 years older than the youngest. In this free program, they're developing along the story that you fall asleep peacefully. Suddenly, you find that only a monster wants to grab you and trap you in this nightmare. But in the end, the alarm clock rings and you realize everything's just a bad dream. Points to take over first, 130.32. As they skate to Butterfly's dream, welcome to your night.
of the skill level of this team seems to be quite equal throughout the team. Across the team, absolutely. Yeah, across the team, sorry. Yes. No, I, I was watching their program or their practice earlier today. They had such a strong practice, and it was beautiful to see that they delivered the same kind of performance in competition that they did in practice. Yeah, really, really brought it up a level tonight. Yeah, really strong, and you can see them all thrilled with that performance. So much can go wrong, and when it doesn't, and they keep <laughs> all together, what a thrill that is, yeah. Exactly. Really, the skating skill level on this team has improved tremendously over the past few seasons, and we've seen that quite a bit in Synchro the last few seasons, where teams have really been working on the individual skating skill level, and we saw that here tonight. The, the quality of the turn for the program, <laughs> just far superior. Yeah, you mentioned that a little earlier in the week that, you know, that middle group of people are, the gap is closing now. Yes. It's their first element, the creative element. They did the creative lift, yep. Oh, Two flatter. skaters, yep. And all skaters around are supposed to be framing the lift. So doing different unique elements to highlight that. This was interesting. So normally you'd see four lifts in the split position. We only saw three, so not sure what happened. Maybe it was an alternate who had to skate that position. That's why they picked an uh, easier position for the, the fourth lift. And question, the list did go up at a different time. Does that matter? Uh, in GOE, yes. In so GOE. ideally you want them going up and coming down at the same time. Look at their angled intersection. Great spacing through that intersection. This is a look. Just watch the lull of the edges as they go from the right side of the screen to the left side of the screen in total unison. Great edge control. Nice quality of turns. Beautifully done. And they were awarded the highest level steps in that block. Challenging to do. Yeah, so hard. Looking here at the whip intersection. Such a challenging uh, element, especially if you're on the fast end there. Yeah, to go hard through to, at the same time. Yes, yeah. hard to control your speed while, while turning. wake up and realize it's all just a bad dream. <laughs> Interesting concept behind the program. I thought the music suited it quite well. <laughs> Coach is thrilled at the end. Yeah. And just a note, the alternates that's off the ice would step on the ice if there's an injury and have to pick up that spot right away. Very difficult to do. Let's take a look at the scores for Starlight Elite. That's 104.77. That's the season's best for this team. And that's second in the pre-program so far with a total competition score of 153.11. And there it is. They take over first place. And there's a look at your top five teams so far in the competition. The next team to skate. La prochaine équipe, the Isakini. Please welcome from Italy, team well, The next ice team on the ice, 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 ice on fire. Age range of this team is 16 to 28 years old. The main aim through this program is to explain the concept of spirituality, the worship, interior conflicts, peace, praying, rise, and ecstasy. It's appropriate they skate to the music of The Mission by Ennio Morricone.
some beautiful skating skills, really interesting moves between the elements and in the elements themselves. Definitely, and, and so team impressive Ice again for the people that may not know, such a new senior team. This is the second ranked senior team in Italy, the first time that they're competing here at a world championship. Absolutely phenomenal to see that kind of a performance. That was so impressive. Really solid skate all the way through the program. Great unison and really good ice coverage that kept the flow and momentum going throughout. That's a skill in and of itself to not need, you know, 10 steps to get across the ice, to be able to ride one edge across the ice. There's no room for error in something like that. And we saw that level of skating skill on this team. And you'll, you'll see more and more of that as the night goes on. And more difficult in synchronized skating because you have such a small space in which you can't push. You can't push too wide and try too hard because somebody's beside you. So you have to keep that flow throughout. And they were brilliant in doing that. I love this variation they go from one position to the second but just so effortless there was no struggle in reaching that second position so confident three young women underneath so important that they turn their feet at the same time and keep it level looking at the angle intersection that was almost a textbook example it was uh, it was quite well done i thought the circle was fabulous. Yeah, lots of applause and encouragement from the fans on this move right here. A unique position. Flexibility and strength by every skater. There's that flip. So creative. It takes so long to come up with new and novel concepts and movements. So anytime we see them, it's always exciting. Beautiful whip. This was awarded top marks. But you can see the perfect unraveling mirror image on both sides. A little stumble on the exit of that twizzle. Skater got a little bit excited, I think. Everything going so well. This great angle for the cameraman. Hats off to you. Yeah, <laughs> Just nice showing job. the wonderful synchronization for the whole team. A beautiful skate for this team. The scores, please. Well, the free program scores for Team Ice team on Fire Ice on from fire Italy. Has earned in the free skating. 105.29. That's second in the free program. With a total score of 156. Total competition score 156.32, and that'll put <laughs> Team Ice on Fire into first place. Team Ice on Fire is the not opening class. Nice job. Well, our next team next on the team ice comes skate. from France, yeah, Team Zulu. The story is Please about a deaf on. girl who tries from to make France, herself understood. Throughout the program, you'll see the skaters using sign language more and more to help understand each other. And throughout the season, they actually worked with a sign language teacher to understand what movements they should be incorporating into their program. Well, 12th after the short program, they need a 103.79 to take the lead as they skate the free program here at Worlds to the world of La Rochelle and dance with me, Wallace.
beautiful, beautiful skate for that team. Wow. You know, we, I was watching the team corner two. left box and every single element got positive GOEs. That's not easy to do. I think that's the first team that we're seeing in that position tonight. Well, the quality of every one of those elements was really at a high level. Beautiful shapes, especially at the end of the program. Very powerful image closing that program out. And some really strong skating skills. Yeah, and, and this is a team that, again, has been on the scene for a long, long time. And to see their skating skills having improved so much in the past few seasons, not too long ago, those twizzles that they did, that they got called the highest level, never would have been called. They really made a jump in their skating skills. Well, the French team's always very innovative. This team was very solid in their skating skills. There was some innovation, no question, but really well-rounded. No, it wasn't a perfect skate. There were a little, a few falters here and there. Really love this pattern for their field move element. The change of edge on that standing upright position that you see at the top of the screen, very difficult to do. Lots of control required. Switch position from side up to the top of the lift. Difficult and risky. Something. See the holds on the legs and the hands. Something that we haven't always seen in synchro, the change of position. It's a newer feature in those lift elements. Beautiful whip intersection there. Really nice timing of the rotations in the intersection. Closing of the program. It's really interesting synchronized skating over the past few seasons. They've been allowing more and more highlighting of skaters throughout the program, which really adds another level of interest and, and right, right here, look at that pose. Really powerful, not only on the camera here, but also in the rink live. You saw some of their faces, just huge celebrations, and they should be celebrating. That was a beautiful performance. The scores, please. The scores for Team Zulu from France. Only 12th place the after the short the program. Skating. The free program score is 114.54. That's the season's it's best. Season's They're best. happy with that. With That's first in the free program. And they have a total competition score of 167.08 as they take over the lead. Great job. All these teams are just so happy to be here and to be able to have a great skate is the cherry on top. The next thing to skate. And the final team in this group from, from Italy, Italy team, team Hot Shivers. Shivers. Their age range between 17 and 25. Free program inspired by the fight against violence toward women. They carefully chose this team with their coach to showcase the power and determination of women. The music comes from the suite from Yento. The way he makes me feel.
beautifully sensitive and delicate program and performance. You could tell they loved every minute of skating that piece of art. And nothing out of order. You know, you could break the magic Team spell, Hawks but Sugar. they didn't. Right. No, I think that was, it was an interesting choice of music. Personally, I always love when you see a new piece of music on the ice that we haven't seen before. And instead of going, you know, a dark piece of music to go with the theme, they pick something uplifting, thoughtful, and certainly encouraging. Beautifully done. Yeah, their posture and their stance and their, you know, just the presence on ice, the choreography. I, not, I don't mean simple, I just mean clean. Absolutely yeah. clean and perfectly delivered. Just beautifully done. Wow. This is what... This is what we expect to see on the world stage. Just breathtaking skating, and incredible they just, athleticism. They just keep getting better. Let's take a look at some of the elements here in the program. Angled intersection, first replay. So tight to get through that intersection without hitting your neighbor. Maintaining the twizzle-like action of those turns. Well done. There's that side position, and then moving up, straight up top. And the unison you see throughout the rotation gets them extra points in their grade of execution, that quality mark, the speed they're able to maintain, all nicely done. Love that yeah, the transition into their wave intersection. A little bit different. We're seeing again more and more of that from these senior teams. Use element here. Teams can do up to four different field moves as part of this element. You saw three there, the spiral, spray eagle, and upper extension. Gorgeous, gorgeous ending. Yeah, really, really. And wonderful opening as well. Just inspiring. A little note as well, the red bow that they're wearing in their hair is also to represent the symbol of the fight against violence toward women. The scores, please. Oh, the special moment, of course. Team Hot Shivers, Hot Shivers earned, earned in, the free in their free program 112.85. That's second in the free program. With a total score total competition score 169.44. As Team Hot Shivers takes over the lead. Ah. There we go. There we go. They were wondering. There they are on top. We will resume the competition after the ice is resurfaced. We see some great skating now, really. It's amazing performances. Uh, more to come, of course. There's a look at the standings so far. Uh, Hot Shivers from Italy in first. Uh, Zulu from France in second. And from Hungary, uh, Team Ice on fire. Italy, pardon me. Yeah, terrific. Outstanding performance and a lot more to come. Yes, absolutely. I think we're, especially nowadays in Synchro, you're seeing different disciplines kind of being blended into the synchronized skating sport. So you see those ice dance edges, you see the jumps, we're seeing just ph phenomenal skating skills at this level. They're really pushing the limits. They They're pushing the barriers, if you will. It's real a combination of all the disciplines coming into one. It's beautiful, it's difficult. Uh, and it's what is, fun because you're with a team. It, it is, and I uh, hope more exposure to come in more broadcast of this beautiful discipline. We're gonna take a short break during the ice resurfacing and hold on to your hats because some <laughs> incredible performance is coming up in just a little while, little while. You're watching live coverage of the 2022 ISU World Synchronized Skating Championships from Hamilton, Ontario. Stay with us, we'll be back.
Welcome back, everyone, to Hamilton, Ontario. Final day of coverage and competition here at the Synchronized World Championships. I'm Ted Bard, your host, along with Lisa Carrier. Lisa, the pressure's building, the excitement in the building is growing, and some great skates already. We've already, yeah, like you said, already seen wonderful skates so far. More to come. So exciting to see these teams take the ice with so much enthusiasm, excitement for a lot of these teams, like we said before, first time on world ice in years. And there's a look at the start order for group number four. There will be one more ice resurfacing in the final group, and uh, the tension just continues to build. It's sort of the program, so yes. interesting stories, really extraordinary and innovative choreography, and some difficulty, obviously, in the technical elements as well. Lots of variety in these three programs. You'll see more or less the same elements, but the order in which they choose to do them, the way that they choose to do them, entirely up to the team. Yeah, and you see some obviously different, you know, nuances to the music. Uh, so different, uh, and, and and really the music itself and the story, if they're telling the story, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit more in depth because the skating skills are stronger. They don't have to think about where they are. It's just natural for them as the they have the confidence skate. to skate well. Well, the first team on the ice in this group comes from Czech from Republic, Czech Republic team, team Olympia. Olympia. And they have uh, their team ranged uh, from 22 years of age between the oldest and the youngest. This program you're about to see is inspired by the persona of Freddie Mercury, as you can see by their costumes. Well, who doesn't like to listen to the incredible music of Queen?
What a great, fun program. Just awesome. This young man, of course, most teams try to have the man melt into the team. He was highlighted here. And oh, by the way, he's engaged to one of these skaters <laughs> who lifted him at the end of the program. That was interesting. Oh, such a fun program. And this team, you can tell, this suited their personality. They had a blast out there. They made the audience have a blast. People are on their feet. There's a standing ovation in this audience from the majority of fans, but so much fun and great to see that on the ice. Yeah, really interesting because you do see most of the men in, in this sport come, you know, part of the team. Yeah. But he was a highlight in this team, not only obviously from the costume, but also from some of the moves. Just really well done. And that's a choice of the team and the coach, right? Do you blend them in? Do you highlight them? What is going to suit the team? What is going to suit the music, the skaters on the ice? So I well, think they... Exactly. What's the strategy? Take us through the replays here, Lisa. So we're looking at the angled intersection here. First replay up. Again, very, very difficult element to get the full calls. Here we're going into the group lift. Challenging sometimes to have a man lifting with a group of girls because of the height difference. So you'll notice his arms were bent in order to keep her at a, a level that's in line with the height of the female. Girl. Look at the whip intersection here. Nicely done. Just everything done with authority. So sharp. Love, love this move here. And he loved it too. You can oh, yeah. see. <laughs> <He's cool. laughs> he likes to be the star on that one. Yes. Yeah. So fun. <laughs> Crowd went wild. Yeah, his, his uh, fiance right underneath him, under the armpit. That's who he will marry in August this year. Very nice pair element here. Was awarded the top level for having all the difficult features in there. And a nice positive GOE as well. Final position in Freddie Mercury style. <laughs> exactly. Up he goes. I love how Freddie Mercury is an eccentric artist and they really brought that into this program. <laughs> There's the coach coach just is thrilled. Absolutely. This is a team that says they like to have a party on the ice and we certainly felt that today. They skated with great confidence scores, and please. skill. Let's take a look at the scores in the free program for Team Olympia from the Czech Republic. Team Olympia has earned in the free skating 112.58. Well, that's third in the free program so far in the competition. And they have a total competition score of 171.57. And that will move Team Olympia on top of the standings so far. Some great teams yet to come. Exciting for that country. Way to go. The next team to skate. Well, next team Number on the ice team comes team from team Sweden. Team, team Inspire. From Sweden, team it's been a number Inspire. of years since we've seen Sweden, a senior team at the World Championships. This program is going to bring some 60s and 80s inspired music that's going to put, in their words, Sweden back on the synchro map with the excitement and joy that they're bringing to the ice. Ninth after the short program. They need 112.26 to take the lead as they will skate their free to Rich Man's Feud and its reigning men.
Whedon. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Those lift entries, incredible. Yeah, exactly what this country Team is known inspired. for, their fearlessness, their willingness to be daring on the ice, to take those risks. Sweden was always, a number of years ago, was always at the top, but there's been a transition now, yep. and they're back. Yep. Again, not the skate that they were hoping for. Of course, we saw errors, we saw issues that we didn't see in practice earlier today, but I think it's worth noting just how impressive it was, some of those moves they did, the risks that they took, and this is a team that will continue to get better and better and better over the coming years. My notes had the incredible acceleration speed. You saw them not skate around the corner. You saw them accelerate out of the corner. So and the exciting. entrance to the lift, so difficult, so unique and innovative and risky, but they're trying to climb the ladder up to the top. And push the envelope, which is what Team Surprise was always known for doing. Difficult death spiral, really hard, because they kept that death spiral going yeah. for a number of rotations. We'll take a look at some of the elements here Let's in the program. Get this whip intersection here. Take a look at the timing of the intersection of those turns. So well done. You really don't see your hole until right before you drop your arms. It's a tricky intersection. Looking at the twizzle intersection, a little struggle on the left-hand side of the screen there. With those twizzles, it is so difficult. If you are off your point of balance even a little bit, you're going to fall. It's uh, There's no recovering when your free leg is out to the side. That's and there's a is. flipping back and forth entry into the desk bar. So difficult, but they kept the momentum throughout really well. There's their forward somersault flip into the split lift. I just can't even imagine doing it like that. I would just, I wouldn't do it, really, <laughs> honest to gosh. That's so difficult. Little bump there. Catch the blades there, right there in the middle. This is where you're going to see the back somersault right into a lift. The strength that that takes, incredible. It just, you know, they didn't have the skate that they wanted, but they had the performance that we wanted. Yes. Innovative and different. Inspiring. And unique, inspiring, and we're going to look forward to watching this team over the number of years coming up. The team has five coaches. Three of them were members of Team Surprise when they competed at Worlds in 2018, the last time we saw Sweden on the world stage here. So you can certainly see the influence of that team on this new team. <laughs> yeah, great stuff, great content. Just need a little bit better execution on the night, but we'll take a look at the scores for the free program. Team Inspire from Sweden, 110.60. That's fourth in the free program. Understandable because of the mistakes. Not what they were No, even though we love the program. 169.92, and that'll put Team Inspire currently in the second place overall. The next team to skate. Well, the next team comes from Hungary, Team Passion. From Hungary, Team Passion of the skaters between 15 and 28. Their program is inspired by the idea that children are often filled with wonder and imagination but lose that as they enter adulthood. So they pose a question to you, the audience. Do you believe in fairies? And they'll skate the free program here at Worlds. In their opening pose to Prodigy, Sand by Nathan Lanyon.
you know, Lisa, for me, I say in this program, it was, a, I don't mean safe in a bad way, I mean it was really cleanly skated. You didn't see quite as many innovative, unique, and perhaps Clean risky passion. entrances and exits. Your thoughts? It's all a matter of making the decision strategically what is best for your team. Do you go for the risk and take a chance that maybe it's not executed well, or in this case, go with within your team's abilities so that they are awarded nicely with those high grade of execution marks. And I think that will play in their favor today. Absolutely. Uh, you saw a pretty or very much clean program yes. here. And I don't mean safe in a bad way. I mean just really well, uh, well delivered. Done. Yep. Yeah, really well done. It was organized. It was lined up. There was speed. A lot of those things that the panel will be looking for, they could easily check them off. And they one made time. you, the viewer, feel safe. Yes. Not, not sitting on the edge of your seat in a bad way, but in a good way. <laughs> exactly. Looking at the group lift here. So much strength to get into these positions and hold them while maintaining that speed, the rotations, the confidence on those skaters' faces. That is often what will make a difference between a lower level team and a top level team is what is their facing? You know, regardless of what they're doing, what is their confidence like on the ice? And you might think in those lifts that, hey, you know, that must be easy because there's three people lifting. No, it's more difficult because if one makes a mistake and you have more chance of that, there's, catches an edge, it goes down. It affects the people around them. Here we look at their field move. You saw the difficult entry there on the spirals, doing their rocker entry, and then they're going to change a position where they drop their arms, reattach. The skater didn't quite attach. That will affect the grade of execution mark. Nice lift there. Good framing. And just over the moon, <laughs> shaking up so, top because so they're so excited. happy. The lift comes down. And the coaches are just absolutely thrilled. Most definitely. You can't imagine, listen, managing one skater is what <laughs> managing 20 you know, at a world championships to have their highest performance, such a difficult task. Uh, you know, we certainly the scores, congratulate all the coaches and the work that they're doing. For the free team program passion score in the free skating. The team passion 122.89. That's a season best. best. And the coaches the are score, absolutely crazy. Wow. It was like a bunny first. rabbit just <laughs> hopping in there. And they're first in the free program. Total competition score 182.21. This team passion takes over first place by 11 points. Hungary becomes the top country in the competition thus wow. far. Amazing. The field is evening out. Yeah. It really is. Starts gaps are closing. Well, next up on the ice, from team from team Germany, Berlin Team Berlin 1. Age range of these skaters 18 to 25. The free program was inspired by some of the global flood disasters last year, which were affecting parts of Germany. Their program will be the power of water and depicting the interplay between people and nature. And they'll skate this free program here at the World Championships to planet ocean and race to feed. <laughs>
Again, exactly the kind of performance you want to see under this pressure, under these circumstances. Team They'll be Berlin very won. happy with that skate. Yeah, really nice and clean. You didn't, you felt the, you could see the security of each one of the skaters. You felt comfortable. Yeah. I felt that they attacked that program, but they were still doing their job with high quality. We, I was <laughs> watching the screen as they were just collecting those marks. Almost everything on first glance got top calls. Of course, they can always review elements and change, but what we saw were some really, really high technical scores in that skate. I mean, Relishing in those final moments before they get off this wonderful ice. They have so many uh, skaters on the ice at the same time, completely focused, not losing control, keeping themselves focused, because there's a lot of dangerous moves in there. Yes. They have to be focused, and this team and many others, such a great job here at Worlds in the free program. Nice angled intersection. They got, again, on first glance, looks like they got full credit for both the intersection and the point of intersection there. Challenging to do. Great strength through this group lift. It's very common here, the side position into a top split, front split position. Lots of teams choosing that feature. Yeah, the lift comes down, go back up all the way. Yeah. Of course, they would have been, this is the one technical call that they didn't get the highest level and they would have been going for a step four and they got a step three again first glance that can always change in the final result really nice whip intersection the timing was spot on love this entry into the death spiral so unique And for the viewers back home, when Lisa talks about it can change, it's because the technical panel and they have the video replay, and they're going to take a look at their calls to ensure, not all of them perhaps, but some of them, that to make to ensure that the call was absolutely accurate to yes. what was on the list. They always give the benefit of the doubt to the team, but if they can see clearly that four skaters aren't doing the correct edges or the correct execution of the element, then they will downgrade the call. The scores, please. Well, the scores for Team, Team Berlin, Berlin one, 1 has earned in the free skating 126.04. Oh my gosh. <laughs> With a total score of they saw that number one come up in the free program. They are currently total competition score 187.03. Team Berlin takes over first place. Such improvement for that team. Thrilling to see. Yeah. Truly. And you said that yesterday, that team had improved so much. Yes. The next thing saw that skate. here in the free program. Yeah, next team, on the ice. Please welcome from the United from States, the United of States America, team, team Hayden Nets, Hayden Nets. Age range of 18 to 22. Program is about hold on to tomorrow, a sentiment that has helped this team through the pandemic.
Yet another solid performance. Such an uplifting program, skated with such ease and confidence. I'm so happy for that team to have had that skate on this night. And once again, the story of that program. The story was, was holding on to tomorrow. It's something that we've all felt through the pandemic, that team sense of hope team. that gets us to the next day. Something that certainly resonated with this team. You could feel their connection to this music throughout their performance. And the meaning. Absolutely. And here they are at the World Championships. Really a clean performance. Beautiful, beautiful. And I'm so glad to see that they did that. I mean, I know this team is adopting a bit of a new style. Whenever you adjust your style, it takes some time to adjust and get the whole team there. And I think there's so much promise. And that was such a great indication of where well, this team can go. Yeah, here at the World Championships, it all came together for them. Yes. That journey of new discovery, the style. This was team, confirmed here. This team has been around for quite some time. There's actually two skaters on this team whose moms skated for the Haydenets years ago. Wow. Love seeing this flexibility in synchronized skating, that spin beautifully done. There's the Billman difficult spin. Center of attention there in that element. Yep, and that would be for part of their artistic element. One of the features, as we talked about earlier. Death spiral, great unison, great speed. Going into their group lift here. So much flow. I did find that they lost some flow at the end of this element, but they had so many other great things going that it didn't affect their overall grade of execution mark. And you can see they weren't trying to pump to, to get right. more speed. They were just using the flow of the yeah. glide. Get their whip intersection. Again, really, really nicely done. intersection a unique approach to this intersection most teams will do it right on the long axis they went with a diagonal approach challenging to get that called looks like they might have lost the marks on that element but still done very well as far as the optics go good spacing good speed you can see the emotion already coming out in the faces Goes without saying, these athletes have been through so much through the pandemic to be here tonight is the spectacular. And we mentioned that, the discipline that was most impacted by COVID. Team Let's take Hayden a look at the scores for Team Hayden in the, the United City. States. Free program score 144.29. Wow, that is clearly first With place. Well, sir, that was free program. Total competition score 212.99. And they're in the lead with one group of teams yet to skate. I have goosebumps. Yeah. And that's a huge lead there, too. They might put some pressure on those teams coming up in this next group. Yes. And there it is. Look at the standing so far in the competition. Team Head Nets in first. 212.99. Team Berlin in first. What a great program they had. 187.03. And Team Passion from Hungary. What a terrific performance and improvement. 182.21. Your top three so far. As we mentioned earlier, it's normally the top five countries that get to send two teams. So to see Germany in that top country position, of course, behind the United States, means that in theory, the next World Championships, they could send two senior teams. So a very exciting opportunity for the country. Sort of a new start to synchronize skating. Things are getting shuffled around a little bit. So yeah. very interesting indeed. So we're going to take a short break during the ice resurfacing. We'll be back with the final five teams are the top five teams after the short program they will be battling for the world championship and podium position so make sure you don't miss that you're watching the isu 2022 world synchronized skating championships i'm ted barton along with lisa carrier we'll be back in just a few moments you won't want to miss it stay with us
years to a century are all together, and now to the next one, to be even better.
Welcome back, everyone, to Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Day two of competition at the ISU World Second Ice Skating Championships. I'm your host, Ted Barton, along with Lisa Carrier, and we're in the final group of skaters. It's been outstanding performances so far, but Lisa, they're battling for the podium and for a new world champion. That's what we're going to see. I've got my mask on. Okay. That is certainly what we're going to see in this flight. Lots of phenomenal skating, great concept of the program. We cannot wait to see what these programs deliver. And there's a look at the start order. Team Miami will go first, Team Gary Marigold uh, second, Nexus uh, Supreme, both from Canada, and they'll finish it out with Team Helsinki Rockets, who are in first place after the short program. But you can see it's pretty tight in there, and things could really change around. Every team needs a clean skate for sure. To be in a contention, or to be a contender for a medal position, they absolutely need to have flawless skates. Everyone is pushing to be on that podium tonight. And a little inspiration as well. Of course, the fans are going crazy. It's such an ambience in this building when I was walking around the concourse here on the break. It's just, you know, the fans are all dressed up and, you know, crazy and excited. There's a buzz. <laughs> There's a buzz. You don't get that in any other figure skating event, that's for sure. Well, first, on the ice, Team Miami University out of States Ohio. Of and their team, team Ray Miami Adrian, 18 22. Every program is a femme fatale theme with a blues rock feel. They wanted something that they could really sink their teeth into, show off their maturity, skating skills, and performance. And they perform here at the free program. The roads are in fifth place coming into the free program and looking to get a personal best, skate a clean program, see where that lands them in the final standings as they will perform. So I put a spell on you and catch us if you can.
joy on those skaters' faces. The coaches are thrilled. Team Beautiful Miami skate. University. Really consistent speed in flow throughout the program. I noticed they really didn't slow down too much. It was a little bit on the field, uh, on the spirals. Yeah. Overall, though, this team had a phenomenal performance. Again, remembering they're Team USA too, so they did place behind Hayden Etz, who we saw before the break. Their scores in, in, at nationals, but at they're nationals, in front of correct. them here in yes. the short program. Yes, thank you for clarifying. I think it's also worth noting that this, being a collegiate team, they have four years of eligibility, so four years that they can skate on this team, and then they have to move on to be able to gel as a team in four years and pull off performances like that is so impressive. The team is always changing. That's a, that's difficult. Yes, a lot of these skaters on these senior teams, some of them have been on the team for 14 years. Wow. Not an option when you're skating for a college team. Great death spirals that we just saw. High levels and high GUE. You can see the for speed those. here on this element. Love this pattern for their field moves. Everything was together. It's easy for the eye to see. And really nice positions hit there. Looking at their whip intersection. So challenging because you can see those skaters on the slow end don't have a lot of speed. On the contrary, the ends have so much speed. And the timing of going through has to be just right. And would you pick certain skaters that fit? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're, you need to have strong skaters on the end of that whip to be able to control the speed and not fly off the end. Believe it or not, it does happen. I love the speed through these twizzles. They just went in with such attack. They, the ice coverage was huge. Really an end-to-end -end element. Let's see, they finish those turns through the angle on one foot. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the reaction. Such a great skate. One that that team will be very proud of. Not really nice. Well, they're sitting in the fifth place after this short program. The the scores, scores will please. tell them a lot team about the progress Miami of this University season's work. Let's take a look. 133.13. That's second in the free program so far. With the total, total score competition score of 204.90. That'll put Team University Miami into second in place second overall. Place. You seem very happy with those scores. So the Hayden Nets did move above them. Yes. Great job, friend. Well, next up, the, next the team, team from Finland, Marigold, La Ice Russian Unity. Team. Age of the Skaters, 18 Welcome to 27. The program Finland. is inspired team by a virtual Marigold. showcase that this Ice team was a part Unity. of last season. 100 teams were actually a part of it. The theme of the showcase was Darkness to Light, and they've taken that and created their own beautiful program. Which they will skate to right now. Unstoppable, one last shot, and trapped in time. Thank you. 
just stunning. Absolutely magnificent. Wow. The best program they of could have the competition skated. so far. Uh, no question. Flawless. Team Marigold the Ice Unity. team just skated that so, so beautifully. I they, just have chills, yeah. really. You could tell that they connected with the music so deeply that any nuance that was in the music was in their bodies. It was and, you know, we've, one. We've said a lot of good things about all the teams, but you have to understand what you've just seen is extraordinarily higher than what we've seen so far. Yeah. We don't know what the results will be. We don't know what the scores are, but overall, quality. in a performance, the quality of this was remarkable. And you could see those great execution scores, some of them in the threes. Yeah. I mean, just... They're sitting in fourth place. Yeah. The top three are coming up in just a few moments, but this team could well move on to the podium. Yes. Looking at this very unique move here. So close to the ice. Stepping through and a there. risk to avoid getting called a fall, right? They're so close to the ice, but not on it. So many beautiful moments here and unique. I think all of the teams were doing the mirror image pattern. Here we see them doing a different feature. Looks so, so well done. This is a team that skates 25 hours a week. They get six weeks off a year, and not because they don't want to skate, but because their rinks are closed in Finland for those six weeks. So they really, they treat it like a profession, even though it's a passion. Well, it looks like a professional team. It's just it amazing. Makes you wonder if every team trained 25 hours a week, what would the sport look like? Yeah. just you couldn't see really a flaw in the program you'd have to dig down really deep to see anything even the, this intersection here so tight one foot so challenging and so smooth yeah beautifully done another look at it right here the slow motion skating skills on this team are phenomenal they are such strong women Sliding moves near the end of the program. That was going to their death spiral. Right so in. risky. One false move, and they're in a fall. Look at the unison there, and the two, just beautiful. Inspiring, to say the least. Yeah, it's for people like us who live in this sport. When you see it that good, it's very rich. Yellow might be, or gold might be the color of the day here with that outfit. We'll see what Time happens. Three scores, great teams please. coming up. Here are the scores. For Team Marigold from Finland. Team Marigold Ice Unity has earned in the free skate 151.24. That's huge. That's going to be tough to beat. We'll see. Total competition score of 228.72. There you go. There's the score. And Team Marigold, Ice Unity, takes over the lead. And you can see by a lot, 16 points. Outstanding. Well, Team Nexus, this is something special. Lisa, take it away. This program is inspired by century-old wax recordings of indigenous songs and sacred texts. The music that they'll skate to is combined with the voice of Jeremy Dutcher, who guided them to the choreographer that they worked with, B. Solomon. They'll be blending old and new, indigenous, non-indigenous. Take a look at Mechinut by Jeremy Dutcher. Celebration of life. Yeah, you 
Right, a special spirit on the ice. Just Truly a work of art. It, it's not just athletics, it's not a sport, but that was so artistic, so special. So mesmerizing. I mean, it didn't matter. I don't know what the scores will be. I don't know the technical elements. What I do know is they touched my heart. They made me feel, they brought me a tear for so many different reasons. And you know this, we've talked about how much teams have gone through to be here. This team based in Ontario had their ice rinks closed in January. They had to travel to a different province in our country to be able to continue tra to training. And this was a difficult theme. It was risky in a way because it was absolutely innovative, totally story oriented, and very emotional. And you can see all those little, the nuances throughout their program. Like I mentioned at the beginning, they worked with Jeremy Dutcher's choreographer, B. Solomon, and he was able to bring in little parts of the indigenous culture to make this program truly authentic. And you could see they were they were part of the music. They weren't skating to music. They were they were the instruments. I actually of the didn't song. think of skating. I, I just thought of movements. Yeah. I just thought of the song and the words and and to be able to spirit. execute such technically difficult moves while being so artistic. Like you said, just seeing skating, it's a talent and an art in itself. Now let's remember, folks, there's the technical panel. They have to look at the sports side. They're not looking at the emotional side and catching up like we are in right. the performance and bringing chills to us. They're analyzing the such, detail. Such a hard job to do. Exactly. So the scores may or may not reflect exactly our feeling, but they will reflect a combination of the feeling of the program, but also the technical requirements. Definitely. Beautiful ending pose right here. Such a story from beginning to end. As we mentioned, it's the story of a full life and all the beautiful moments. And regardless of the scores, they have built something extremely special and given this to the sport of synchronized skating, enriched it, and others will be inspired by it. The next team. Nope, they need scores. The scores, please. <laughs> Don't leave them hanging. Back on track. Here we go. Here are the scores for Nexus in the free program. Team Nexus has earned in the free skate 146.73. That's second in the free program. And they're pleased with the score. They should be really thrilled with the skate. Total competition score, 224.38. Nexus will now be in the second place overall with two teams at the skate. Well, next up on the ice right now, the other team the from Quebec, team from Canada, pardon me, Les Supremes from Quebec. Quebec. We're in for a Please show, they're skating to the White Crow, Canada. which is a movie based on the life team of Russian ballet Les dancer Supreme. Rudolf Nureyev. Their team relates to a story of the quest for perfection and embracing the journey through it all. They had a great short program, second after the short, looking to stay on the podium, maybe a step higher, we don't know. Great skating skills, great synchronized team on the ice here representing Canada as they will skate for the four seasons in the White Crow and the Carmosa. I want to be free.
Wow. And the crowd goes wild. And so do we. That was amazing. Rightly they, so. Incredible all, skate. All these teams Team had to skate West clean. Right. So far, they have. That was the perfect vehicle, delivered perfectly in the most intense <laughs> of environments. Important moment. You want to have your best when you most need it. And they did. This is deliver. a team that has been waiting for their world moment since 2019 when they qualified as Team Canada 1 to compete at the World Championships. The majority of the team has stayed together through the pandemic, saw them on the ice tonight, and what, what an incredible team. So much unity throughout the program. And you wonder how much they knew about what had gone on before with Finland with brilliant performance and then of course Nexus skates clean as well and you know they're coming onto the ice feeling the ambience but they were focused. So focused. Just such a great skate for them. You can see all the hugs. Okay we're looking at the replays, yes. the death spirals. There were so many intricate moments here, so many layers of complexity. You see the split jump going into this twizzle. Great unison and great use of linking steps between the two twizzles. They use a unique pattern on the ice, unique linking steps. This angle was just amazing. Well, they hit every element at the highest level. Like for them, for themselves. Yes. But huge marks that we saw. One of the skaters, her hands kind of got stuck in the skirt as she was going up in the lift, but you couldn't tell. That is the, the mark of a true <laughs> elite athlete. Body language unwavering, facial expressions unwavering, just complete confidence. Just keep going. That's it. Young skaters, take note. They finish every single one of their movements right down to the fingertip, the toe point. This is such a difficult discipline, but it's also so rewarding to work with such a large team on the ice. The moments that can be created when you have 16 talented athletes beautiful Last. And they really you can tell they love this program they bought into it really well composed the oh, music yes. put together brilliantly of course you'll see here there's two skaters on this team that broke their legs during the season here they are with their teammates i know that they've been a huge source of inspiration the for their scores, teammates please. and here it is let's take a look at the scores are currently in second place after the team short program where will they be after the these scores state. 154.80. That's first in the free program. There's only one team left. That guarantees them a medal. The question will be what silver. color. At least the silver. And the total competition score 236.31. It'll be gold. It'll be silver. Now it's not up to them. It's up to the next team. There it is. Current standings. The top five so far. You can see some of the skaters on the ice holding their ears. Just trying to keep focus. This is the Finland. Final team on the ice. Rockettes, they're in first after the, the short team. program. Please welcome. This is the team that's going to be Finland. portraying a very team unique theme. Telling a story of a mind game about how the digital revolution, the deep human feeling, senses, and heartbeat blend together in current society. And these skaters are between 18 and 26 years old. This is a completely different type of program that you're going to witness right now as they skate for the title, the world title, right now here in Hamilton. It's now as they will skate to digital twin. <laughs>
on their faces, Ted. It's such a talented group Team of women Nelson on the ice. Rockets. They were pretty clean most of the way through that program and then the some mistakes. And as I mentioned, the other teams had skated clean. You, There's no room for error in a competition at with this, this depth yeah. and this much talent. Absolutely. And they can sort of sense it and feel it yeah. right now. They don't know what the scores are be, of course, but they needed and wanted to go clean, and that didn't happen, but they are a wonderful, strong, synchronized team with a bright future. And they were in first after the short program. But sk skating last, so difficult. So much skill on this team. This group lift got a huge grade of execution point for the quality. Just unbelievable strength, speed, seamlessness throughout the element. Beautiful angled intersection. Looking at that there. They were the only team that got it called full technical points in the short program. This is a team that is so technically strong, not to mention the skating skill and program components that they possess as well. So many layers of complexity in this program. Beautiful unison through those death spirals. So much speed. Right into strength. a spin. Put the partner right into the spin. Wow, wonderful. So hard. Take a look at the fall. Just right there. Oh, yeah. Caught her edge, lost the balance off the heel. And that will affect their mark tremendously because two skaters went down in the element, automatic deductions. And then the panel will be looking at how long it took the skaters to get back in line and was it dis a disruption in the program so challenging how you can have a program flawless, but that little moment, that millisecond, makes all the difference. It can be just an inch or two off, especially in this discipline. Yeah. And you could just see at the end of the program, the feeling of a little disappointment, or maybe a lot, really. Yeah. A team like this, they're expecting perfection from themselves because 
It's the standard that elite athletes hold themselves to. And the pressure on when you're in first place after the short program, you may have all the skills, but do you have the psychological skills to not the think scores, about we're in first, please. we're close? It's a tough them. bet. Let's take a look at the free program scores. Team Helsinki Rockets. Helsinki Rockets. 143.44. That's fifth in the free program. With a total score of 220. And you know what that means. Competition Team score Helsinki Rockets is currently in third of place. 226.20. They're in third place. They grabbed the bronze medal. But Canada, the Supreme, takes the gold. Take the gold. There it is. The final standings. A remarkable result. For Lacey Pem, first time world this championship medal, gold medal for this team. What an accomplishment. And I have to be incredibly thrilled. We did some great interview with them earlier in the week, and they told the story about all the injuries that they got through and what they had to fight and how they pulled together as a team to help their injured compatriots. And they're a beautiful group of skaters, and to be able to now call themselves world championship. And there you world go, Lisa Prim, 236.31, Marigold, 228.72. The bronze goes to Helsinki Rockets at 226.20. The top three, the medalists, and the rest of the field. Team Nexus ends up in fourth place, Hayden Nets in fifth. Gosh, what a great competition, and now it's a race for the medals as we're <laughs> looking out on the ice. Let's Take a few moments here, Lisa, just to review what we've seen. Three years off, of course. Gosh, watching this, I don't feel like we missed any time. I just feel we're in the future now, moving forward. I was just going to say, they were three missed years, but not three lost years. All of the teams, they've been working so hard behind the scenes, and we haven't been able to see the fruits of their labor until this weekend. And all of the teams should be so proud of where they've come, the new skills that they've acquired in this time as a fan, as a coach, as a lifelong participant in the sport i am so thrilled to be able to see the depth of talent in this sport well, i was going to say maybe the gain was not just the brilliant performances of the final group but it's also that middle group and down lower the skating Absolutely. skills are getting better so the gaps are closing yes and when you have stronger skating skills that's where the sport can really get to the next level because when you have strong skaters the sky is the limit but it takes time to build that quality in the skating well, it's just uh, incredible. Of course, the Canadian fans here have been uh, rewarded with their enthusiasm with a world championship title. Les Supreme from Montreal, the new world champions. And uh, what an exciting you know, performance by so many of these teams. Uh, just great to see skating back. It's great to have fans in the audience. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, that makes a difference, you know? I can't imagine synchronized skating. Without I mean, the, the other disciplines, okay, they had no fans. Right. But synchronized skating without fans? Yeah. That's a tough one. Yeah. But they didn't. They were here. And I think the lesson in all of this is what it teaches young people about resilience. You know, all of these athletes, they could have said, hey, pandemic, we're not allowed to skate attached. I can't do my sport the way that I want to. I'm going to pack it up and quit. But you see what happens for the teams that persisted, that step with the sport. They're able to accomplish amazing feats here this weekend. You know, they, they did what they had to do to get here today. They found ways. I mean, you couldn't, in, in our part of the country, they could not skate together on the edge. They couldn't touch and hold hands. So, yep. as you said, they had boot noodles or sticks or hockey sticks or whatever, kept their distance, yep. but got on the ice and slowly came back together. Laser Prem's entire free program was built and choreographed using sticks. So that actually helped them because look at what they were able to, cre to create. And helped to create the distance as well, you know, to, to keep yep. that consistency. There's always silver lining, right? There is. <laughs> Just have to find you it never sometime. know it at the moment, of course. Yeah. 80% of the Lacey Prem team has been on this team for more than two seasons. I think their longest, longest standing member has been on the team for 11 years, if I'm not mistaken. And what an accomplishment for her. And we can see now the <laughs> two team captains going down into Kiss and Cry. They're going to be interviewed by Dr. Shade Zakuski from Skate Canada. Let's step aside and hear this interview right now. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Shay Zizkuski and I'm joined by the captains <laughs> of the gold medal winning team, Les Supreme from Canada. <laughs> captains, could you please introduce yourselves to everyone? My name is Lori. And I'm Marie-Ève. And we are the team captains of Les Supremes. 
Well, first off, felicitation, congratulations on, to you and your entire team. What a beautiful and dynamic program you skated today. How did you feel about your free program today? We felt amazing on the ice. It was so special to skate in front of every one of you in the stands, and we couldn't be more proud. Wonderful, wonderful. Could you tell the crowd a little bit more about the theme and concept behind your free program today? So our program is inspired by the movie The White Crow, a ballet dancer who wants to be perfect, and as soon as he realizes that he enjoyed himself so much more when he had fun, well, then things start to go very, very well for him, and that's what we did in our program tonight. And we have this, crowd, this quote, sorry, that it's not about being perfect, it's about being awesome. Love it, thank you. So after two years of the World Synchro Championships being canceled, how did it feel to be here in Hamilton, skating at Worlds in front of a home crowd? It feels super special. It's been uh, two years challenging for us. Uh, we, skate, uh, we didn't skate as much as we want last year and this year, and uh, we work uh, twice, two times more difficult, plus dur que d'habitude, and uh, it's just like a uh, super. C'est ça, c'est vraiment gratifiant. Merci. Wonderful. One last question: How will you and your teammates and your friends and family celebrate this win? I think we can't wait to give everyone a big, big hug. Oh, love it. Well, thank you. Thank you to everyone in the crowd tonight. I hope you enjoyed the skating. Safe travels home. Thank you. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Thank you to our Supreme family and our Quebecois. Yeah. And Canadian. Too cute. Oh, what a great moment. You can hear the emotion in Shay's voice, even, in doing the interview, of course. As we wait for the uh, you know, presentation will come up in, just few, in, in a little bit, the medal presentation. We'll take a look at some of the highlights here. We see the fans in the stands uh, very satisfied that they made it out here to Hamilton to watch this really special moment. Historical moment. That was 2015, the last World Championships here in Hamilton, and a Canadian team won then, but not since then. Right. Here's Look a look at the bronze medalist. Helsinki Raketes from Finland. And they were outstanding as well. They were first after the short program, and you know they were going for a clean skate and they had a couple of mistakes, but they stayed on top of the podium. Beautiful moments. Variants in their skating and the music. That's skating last as well. Not easy, but here's the team that moved up from fourth up into the bronze medal or silver medal position. Brilliant, absolutely outstanding performance. Stunning moments. It took us on a journey from darkness to light, and they did such a phenomenal job throughout their program. So many challenging elements. So much difficulty embedded into this program. So inspiring. Well, that was a stunning performance. And as close to visual, at least from a distance, perfection. You didn't see the small details, but I don't know, it gave me chills. Looking at that death spiral, I can tell you skaters around the world are going to be trying yeah. that death spiral. So fast. And there's their ending so pose. Exciting. A great moment shared and here they are champions of the world Les Supreme from Canada pretty special moment they had to be clean they had to be perfect for them and they had to be inspired and they were not a misstep in this program from what we could see there was speed and confidence throughout you wouldn't know they were competing under the pressure of a world championship and a world title the way they executed each of these elements and moves, absolutely flawless. You know, they make it look so easy. 
you know, skating does. I mean, that's, you know, the not, unfortunately, the beauty of our sport, but also the tragedy in a way in that people don't understand how incredibly difficult it is to do what these athletes do. So difficult. It takes 20 to 25 hours of work Team per week to get down. here and a lifetime of commitment. And look at that emotions. They didn't know at that moment that they had won, but they felt that they won they, in their hearts. They, at they that did moment. everything they could. That's all they could do. And look at the stands with the fans standing up, waiting for the moment to hear their national anthem. And we're going to see a special presentation with a huge podium. And it's going to be interesting. We'll step aside as you watch the medal presentation. We'll stay with you. ISU World Synchronized Skating Championships 2022, Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Victory ceremony. La remise de médailles pour les championnats du monde de l'Union internationale de patinage synchronisé 2022, Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Third and winner of the bronze medal. En troisième place et gagnante de la médaille de bronze. From Finland. Représentant la Finlande, Team Helsinki Rockets. Second, and winner of the silver medal. En deuxième place, et gagnante de la médaille d'argent. From Finland. Représentant la Finlande. Team Marigold Ice Unity. First and World Synchronized Skating Champion for 2022, 
en première place et championne du monde UIP de patinage synchronisé 2022. From Canada. Représentant le Canada, les Suprêmes. on the podium. It's just a beautiful picture. Colorful. Brilliant. Please welcome inspiring. the ISU representative. Everything synchronized And I would like to mention Mary Lundmark, such a big supporter of the synchronized skating to the team development captains. Uh, in Finland, of course, on the ISU Council. has done so much for the development of the sport. So passionate. Sport wouldn't be what it is without people like Marie, paving the way and helping the sport flourish. And it takes time in any new sport. We've watched this sport develop over the years when it was basic skating and holding your arms not above your head or certainly not lifting or desk piles or anything like that. So it's grown and emerged and continues to sort of surprise people at how beautiful it can be, but how risky and difficult physically demanding it is as well. Don't get don't get taken in by the beautiful costumes and you know the nice hair. This is really a more tough than, sport. More than beauty. That's, That's for, sure. for sure. And there's the gold medal for Canada. <laughs> Such joy. And to be able to celebrate this moment as a team, you know, figure skating is known Please as welcome. being a solo Skate discipline Canada or pair. Beautiful to be as a team. Yes, it is. A great celebration. Karen Butcher. And hopefully with more to come. She will award the flowers. As we continue to sort of expand coverage of this discipline and get people interested not only in the sport but also the art and entertainment that synchronized skating brings to the viewer. So Lisa, your feelings overall. You're exhausted. I'm inspired. <laughs> Absolutely inspired. I mean, synchronized skating is a co-ed sport, but it absolutely highlights the strength of women. And to be able to watch the these women OC rise together, supporting each other, to the team being here for each other and because of each other is just such a, a remarkable moment. And it speaks volumes to all of the young ladies watching at home and and the young men at home watching as well, wondering if there's a figure skating team sport for them. There is. Yeah, absolutely. The rest of the team are getting their medals now. Medals that they will wear with absolute pride. I always like when those medals are big. And those are nice, big <laughs> Which gold is a new medals. thing. Yeah. They used to be very small They used to be medals. small, exactly. Now you can see them from a distance. Yep. And wear the weight with pride. I think these medals probably mean more than ever before, just knowing what they've no. been through. Yeah, it's not just about today. That the medal, last. you know, has three years in it. Yeah. The support, not only felt by the team, team members and teammates themselves, but what goes into making these athletes, the parents, Let the support system that gets them here, we can't forget. Let's not forget about the coaches and the parents who have spent, you know, a lifetime really in providing the environment for these young women and men to excel. And uh, it takes a whole team. I mean, there's a team of 20 skaters here perhaps, but how many behind the scenes? Many, Countless. many more. We congratulate 
you all for every team that you have supported and all the work that you've given. We also, you know, thank the uh, organizations, both the federations, of course, and also the International Skating Union and the officials for creating an environment that is inspiring and uh, just a great addition to the ISU and all the winter skating sports that they manage. And you can see the tears Please rise building up for the national anthem of the champions as they listen to their greatest song. Well, what a great moment here in Canada and around the world. Synchronized skating is back. There's a look at the medalists. They supreme the champions, Team Marigold. The silver medalists, Team Helsinki Rockets. The bronze medalists, 2022 Synchronized World Championships. Lisa, your experience, we thank you for such remarkable research and your passion for the sport. It comes easily when there's such a love behind the work. And you've done it all. You've you know, been a skater. You know what they've gone through. You've coached a team. You know how difficult that is. And, and so I can see your heart on your shoulder. Well, and thank you, Ted. It's been a blessing and an honor to commentate beside you. You are a wizard at your craft and a true professional. And I thank you for having me with you. No, oh, jeez do this by yourself, I'm most certain. <laughs> but it's a, a great honor and a pleasure to have covered this World Championship and see the Synchro coming back from such a difficult, difficult time during COVID. We're so thrilled for these athletes to feel the joy and be able to experience what they've worked really a lifetime for. My cheeks hurt from smiling so much. So proud of all of these athletes. Yeah, and it doesn't matter, not just the podium athletes, but the teams from Turkey and from Australia, from Great Britain and from, you know, Germany. Great improvement than the Hungarian team, the German team, the French team. You know, really wonderful depth all the way through. Remarkable. You're speechless. I am. <laughs> I feel like we've said it all, you know. It's, it's been such a wonderful two days we've had such a, an amazing platform to be able to promote this sport and talk about the sport, share our love for the sport. Well, we're going to let our fans around the world continue to enjoy these beautiful images here from Hamilton, Ontario. For all of us here in the broadcast in Hamilton, we thank everyone from all the countries joining us for this world championship around the world. We hope that you get inspired by these young athletes and get onto the ice and learn to skate. Even if you don't do sync or anything else, it's a wonderful sport. It's a wonderful feeling. Lisa, thank you so much for your brilliance and your passion and your information. It's been such a joy to work with you. Thank you, Ted. For all of us here in Hamilton, around the world, thank you for joining us at the World Synchronized Skating Championship 2022. I'm Ted Barton, along with Lisa Carrier. Thank you for watching. Good night, everyone.
clear, 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 clear. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the ISU and Skate.